Hello, this is Andrew from Bongo IT and today I just wanted to show you quickly how to set up a group and uh, manage permissions uh, to a document library within SharePoint Online. What we specifically want to do is restrict permissions to a particular user, or actually to a particular group with a particular user in it. Um, so first off, we're just going to set up a uh, document library very quickly. There we go, test library. It's going to show navigation. It's going to jump us straight into it. Uh, so we pop back up to libraries. And there we go, there's our test library. And no documents in it. In this case, this test library is at the top of our site. Um, so it's just got the default permissions. Um, had it been inside another library with specific permissions, it would have inherited those permissions from that library. Um, but here it is anyway. Um, so the next step is to set up a group. And we do that from the main site settings. We go to people and groups. That's under users and permissions. And we go to more and groups and new, new group. Here we go. I'm going to call this the testing ABC group. And this particular group is going to have full control. No problems there. Okay. There we go. This group's already got me in it, conveniently. I'm going to add another user to this group. In this instance, that'd be Ginger. And she doesn't need an e email invitation for that. I'm going to share with her. And there we go. Two people in this testing ABC group. Okay, so we've got our group set up. We know what permissions are applied to that group, full permissions. And we're going to go back to our site content and apply that to this test library here. I click on the ellipsis tool, click on settings. Again, you'll recognize the screen, slightly cut down version from the main site. I want to go to permissions for this document library. And first off, we see there's a warning here, limited access users on this site. It means there's more than showing in this particular list. We also can see its inheritance uh, here. So first off, I'll show everything that's got some sort of permission pertaining to this library. Quite a long list, as you can see. So we need to stop inheriting those permissions. Stop inheriting those permissions from the site, the default permissions. That's the same for any library. If it's a library within a library, you're going to need to stop inheriting the permissions from its parent. Okay, and we're going to remove everything that we don't want, which is everything in this case. Uh, just waiting for the browser to catch up there. Then we're going to grant permissions to the group that we do want. Testing ABC. Awesome. They don't need an e email invitation. There we go. Share of ABC. And now there will only be the users that are in the group testing ABC that can see and use this library. Thanks for watching.